Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi Battles. In the last episode, we dominated with Gengar. In this episode, we will be continuing our um, our kind of escapade through the uh, last part of Series Six. I won't. Oh, this did change. Never mind. I thought the question wasn't changing. Um, anyways, <laughs> once again, we we won two we won two games. It's very very nice. We're currently six and two in this uh, format. Uh, uh, in this last last part of the series six meta game, uh, we're using a very interesting team that abuses Zarina and Gengar and and Urshifu. Uh, and I'm having a very very good time with them. Uh, very interesting team for our opponent. We see a Compe, a Darmanitan, a Blastoise, a Drekazult, a Surfetch, which is crazy to see, and a Hatcherine. Uh, I really, really like Gengar in this game. I really like Gengar Talonflame lead, uh, with, uh, Urshifu and, uh, I really like Primarina here, actually. Because we have a lot to do with the ta the Dracozult, and Primarina does very, very well against a lot of that team. Primarina is a very good bring here. So we see them lead... Blastoise Comfe, okay. That is a fine lead by my opponent. Uh, I want to taunt into the Blastoise and go for a Sludge Bomb into the um, Confe. The reason I want to taunt the Blastoise is... Well, I wanted to get rid of its uh, chance to uh, Shell Smash. However, it does not look like they are doing that this game. And they set up Trick Room. Okay. Uh, so, in that case, I want to fire off a Dazzling Gleam here. Uh, and a... A Brave Bird into the uh, Blastoise slot. They're going to Dynamax their Blastoise here. Okay. G-Max Blastoise. Makes sense. Are they going to go for Cannonade? Do -do 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 -do. An active do we just policy? Okay, so they weren't going for Shell Smash. Just fine. And it's weird that they don't KO my Gengar. Okay, so they choose to target prioritize Talonflame. Interesting. Gengar picks up the KO on the Comfe while getting some pretty decent chip into the the Gengar. Cannonade deals pretty good residual damage. Uh, we actually get to bring out Primarina here and go for max overgrowth into the Blastoise. Uh, and we actually get the Sludge Bomb. Actually, we're going to protect this turn with Gengar. Uh, and we are going to go for the uh, Overgrowth into the Blastoise. I do not want to get psychic um, And if they do reveal going for Psychic there, then what I'll do is I'll pivot into Gengar and then, uh, on Urshifu. Because our Urshifu is Dark Shifu. So if they reveal Psychic here into our Gengar, what we'll do is we'll switch into Urshifu. 
the expanding force into the Gengar slot. Okay. Perfectly fine by me. We fire the Evergrowth into the uh, Blastoise, which will two hit after the um, terrain. Are we trapped because of the cannonade? The hailstorm. Fine. Primera will resist that and eat that up. This. That's not a video. That's not music. Okay. Gengar continues to get whittled. I hope that we can switch our Gengar here. How many turns of Trick Room do we have left? Two. Okay. So we'll switch Gengar out into Urshifu. And we will once again go for the Overgrowth into the Blastoise. Excuse me. They protect, that's fine. So what we'll be able to do here is detect on Urshifu and go for a um, another overgrowth into the Blastoise slot. I'm not afraid of this uh, Hatterene because the moment Trick Room is up, I get to bring back in Gengar and go for a Sludge Bomb into it. So I just need to get rid of the Blastoise on the field right now. We're going to Detect and Overgrowth. Uh. Very good. So this will pick up the blood K on the Blastoise. Good job, Primarina. No more Trick Room. And they bring out their... Dracozolt. That one could cause a little bit of problem. Dracozolt could cause a little bit of problem. Uh, we are going to Wicked Blow into the Prima, into that slot there. And we're going to hopefully fire off a, um, a, a Moon Blast into the Draco's ult. Fire off the Wicked Blow into the Hatterene. Doesn't pick up the KO, unfortunately. That is fine. Aerial Ace comes out, which is also fine. Does not pick up the KO. We Moonblast KO the Dragazolt. It does not KO the Dragazolt. It's Sash. Okay. And Deegleam comes out. I wonder if Grassy, Grassy Train might end this turn, actually. Oh, it does the hill. Grassy, uh, grassy train activates after hail. Good. GG's. GG's to my opponent.
You needed to target down for Marina there. Smile. Bring back out Gengar. And just to show them that it didn't matter, we're going to Dazzling Gleam and Moonblast. Yeet. Very good. And I think that was only game one. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer episode. Look at that, look at that go. Alrighty, as always in between game one and games two, we do question of the day. That is question of the day is, what Pokemon do you think will be the most overrated once they come back? Personally, I think the most overrated Pokemon in the format is probably going to be Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu will struggle a lot against the rest of the format. Um, something like uh, Lando just kind of shits on it, right? So you need to be very, very careful about that with that uh, if you're building a team around Tapu Bulu. Hey, we reached Master Ball at rank 5,000. Nice. Look at us go. Seven games, two losses, and we reached Master Ball tier. Very good. Rains against Chandelier. Uh oh. They better have a Chandelier on their team. They don't have a Chandelier on their team. Uh, we see a Corvinate de Gastrodon, who will probably be replaced by Cardilly, uh, in all honesty. Um, a Moongis. Salazzle, Grimstar, and Terrakion. Okay. Well. Uh, Tonflam Gengar lead is very, very strong with Zarina and uh, Prima in the back, actually. Or Max Special Attack Timid on Gengar as well, so. That's good. All right, let's see what they lead. Do, do, do. So Gastron Salazzle is their lead, which is pretty interesting to say the least. Um, we're going to fire off a Brave Bird into the Salazzle. Actually, we're going to Tailwind first. Tailwind, we're going to Shadow Ball into the Salazzle. Salazzle uses Fake Out. Okay. So T Flame goes down, unfortunate. Uh, we'll bring out our Zarina now. And we will protect Zarina and go for a D Gleam. So they do they do a double, okay. Which means I get to fire off the um the D Gleam into the Grimstone, which is very good. 
trying to decide who I'm Dynamaxing this game. And honestly, it's looking like a Gengar Dynamax. We're also going to switch out Zarina into Prima. We're going to Dynamax our Gengar now. We're going to go for the Max Ooze into the Grimstall to boost our special attack. Group of has the light screen. Okay. Grim Snarl is KO'd. Mm, excuse me. Gastron came back in. All right. What we'll do is we will energy ball into the Gastrodon and go for a Max Fantisme into the Corviknight. Overnight Dynamaxes, that's fine. Gastron protects, less fine. And it KSR Gengar, so we're losing this game. Okay. That is fine, I guess. That is fine. It's not, but I'm going to say it is. Uh, we'll bring us Arena now because we don't have another choice, and we're going to lose this game. I did not bring anything for Corviknight. This team doesn't really have much for Corviknight. I probably should have just brought um, my boy, my boy Arcanine, but unfortunately we did not. So we get to live with the consequences. Max Stream will pick up the KO on our Zar. Earth Power does nothing, we get to at least pick up the We don't get to pick up the KO on this Gastrodon, it's holding a window behind a behind a light screen. There's no way it, it doesn't. And we're going to lose this game. Big GG's to my opponent. Uh And yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi Battles, where hopefully we don't lose again.
Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys then. Peace.